Living as a socially and politically vocal teenager born with a 20-year gap from the Edsa People Power Revolution, it is truly undeniable that a debacle between what is true or not around that movement continues to bother every single moment of my life. I, for one, cannot justify and testify what really went down for I was far from alive around that time. However, I must say, no matter how phenomenal EDSA is, I harbor no desire for our nation to endure such turmoil again. EDSA may be a significant chapter in our past, but it's not a situation I ever want to see repeated, never again. As we mark the 30th anniversary of the EDSA People Power Revolution, it's disheartening to witness attempts to diminish its profound significance in Filipino history. It's particularly frustrating considering the countless individuals who endured imprisonment, torture, and even laid down their lives for the cause. Yet, despite these sacrifices, some continue to cling to distorted narratives. 38 years have passed, yet the horrors of martial law seems to linger still, especially in the field of journalism and activism. With those who spoke against the dictator vanishing into thin air, the sudden deaths of journalists in the current administration mirrors the cruelty experienced by our truth bearers back then. Have we truly gained independence, or are we only welcoming the devil back in our residence? The cries of the 3,240 salvage, 34,000 torture victims, 70,000 political imprisonment, and 75,730 human rights violation victims shall forever echo in every inch and crevices of the Philippines. We should always be bothered and our anger must never dissipate. Ed to prove the definition of solidarity and unity, far from what the current administration is trying to sell. They are back to regain power and to revise history. Hence, it is within our duty to never forgive and never forget, for the power of the people is mightier than the people in power.